Hi Stampers, this is Jennifer Timko from Stampin' on the Fly. Welcome to my video today. I'm going to discuss with you how I created this hydrangea card using the freshly made sketches challenge number 212. You can see that I started with this stamp set. It's a hostess set from Stampin' Up! called Best Thoughts, and I chose this beautiful hydrangea. I stamped it once in Versamark and heat embossed it with white embossing powder, and then created this mask and did the same thing again to create the layering on the flower to match the sketch from Freshly Made Sketches. Once I had that done, I'm going to color it today with Tim Holtz Distress Inks. And I'm starting today with Tumble Glass, which is a beautiful light blue color. I have this little container of water that you'll see me off screen most of the time dipping into, but I'm just showing you how it looks. And then I'm going to use one of my acrylic blocks as a palette for color. So all I do is uh, smash this little mini spot into the block to create a way to pull color. So with my damp brush, this is a Zig watercolor brush, I'm just pulling the color in and these colors blend beautifully with water and you can layer them. So as you watch, you'll see that I go back and add a little bit of color and this is just, you can keep going until you're happy. All right, I'm gonna turn on some music and here we go. You can see as I've been coloring, I've been working on the shading and the lights and darks. One of the things I love about hydrangeas, and I have a number of them in my yard, is that each flower has its own unique flavor. So what I've done, even though the pink was so beautiful in this, I've come back and I'm just adding a little bit of interest to some of the petals to make each of these flowers look really, really unique. Again, with this ink, one of the most wonderful things is how you can layer it. And you can kind of cover um, a lot of ground with the color without having to do a lot of precise work. Once I was done coloring, I went ahead and cut an A2 size panel out of Soft Sky cardstock from Stampin' Up. That's four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And using these stitch rectangle dies from Simon Says Stamps, I lined it up to make sure it was even on all the sides and I ran it through my Big Shot to create a frame. Normally I use the inside piece of this, 
but for today I actually use the outside piece to create this frame around the uh, watercolor work and then I did the same thing using the same dies I had this little spare piece from inside that I had cut out I trimmed it down a little bit and now I'm using it to create a place for my sentiment. Again, this sentiment is part of the sketch. So all I did was cut twice to create a rectangle. Obviously there are dies that actually have these little pieces cut out. I just don't own them all yet. So I got a little bit creative with the dies I own. Once I had that piece cut out, I chose a sentiment that I thought would be appropriate The sentiment comes from a Stampin' Up! set called And Many More, and it has lots of little sentiments that are just the right size for the front of a card. I stamped in Versamark and heat embossed with white embossing powder again. As a final touch on this, I went ahead and added some sequins. These sequins actually come from the Watercolor Wishes kit. I added them with these little 3M glue dots that come in the paper pumpkin kits from Stampin' Up! and I hoard them and they're awesome for attaching sequins so that's how I added it. I'm so glad you stopped by today. I very much appreciate you visiting and I can't wait to see you again soon. Thanks so much!